All right, I just got this tree pruner from Harbor Freight. It costs $21. It goes eight feet. And what it has is a little saw on it so that you could cut like palm trees and such. And it also has like a little chopper, which I would recommend using on these because usually bend the material. But I use it for the saw prop use. You can see there's a little saw there and you could get eight foot plus your, your height Plus, if you have a ladder, you could go even higher. So you could go like 20, 25 feet easily. So I got one of these. I'm going to use it. I'll show you what I'm going to use it on. So here's my palm tree. And I, I'm starting to get to the point where I can't just cut it with a saw anymore. I have to actually have some other method of cutting the branches off. So I'm going to be using that for that. I found that if you stand under the branch and cut it, you get a lot better leverage. If not, the blade tends to bend sometimes. So look into doing that when you're cutting. So that definitely wasn't easy to do. I probably got a little more to do over there, but I won't bore you with it, but it's not that easy to do with that thing. By the way, be very careful of this blade. It's very sharp. This wing nut here will get loose. And this thing constantly gets loose. The extension part where you stretch it to extend it. That's always getting loose. I don't know why they couldn't make that better. But I finally got it done. You can see here, I got all the low branches out. If it gets much higher, it's gonna be a lot harder. That little pygmy palm tree on the left there, they have needles on them, so you don't wanna to get too close to them. This is kind of overkill for something like that. I usually prune those with hand trimmers of some kind, little snips or something like that. So I could do that with that. I wouldn't use this for that. Now, I, would I buy these One Stop Gardens tree pruner again from Harbor Freight for $21? Probably I would because they were $21. But it's one of those tools that you know you're going to break. Like, I think you probably get, like, if lucky, maybe eight uses out of this before it starts bending or something goes wrong with it. Now, the saw is going to be really durable. Those snips, don't use those snips on there. Because if you use it on a tree that is a thicker branch, you'll bend those blades on there. So you don't want to do that. But with the saw, you could go under the branch and cut it. I have a little extra information at the end of this video where I was going to attempt to cut an oak tree branch. I, I decided not to cut the oak tree branch because it was too high. And when those fall, they hit you a lot. They and You're usually right under it. And it's too dangerous to use this on there. I usually use my pole chainsaw on something like that. I don't mind getting on a ladder using that pole chainsaw. So this has been my review on the One Stop Gardens Tree Pruner from Harbor Freight for $21. I have this pretty thick oak branch up there. I have a chainsaw stick that will probably do better. I don't think I'll even attempt to use this. I'm afraid that I'll get it halfway cut and I won't get anywhere. I could try over on that side. I could try that. That's pretty high. 
maybe too high. Let's see. It's too wiggly. I won't get any over here, maybe. It's higher than I am. I would have to get on a ladder to do that, and I don't really trust this thing. This works for small things like palm trees, but for branches, like oak tree branches, don't, don't even attempt to do it. So that's my, my review of this Harbor Freight pull saw, and it cost $21. It did a good job on the palm tree. It's just a lot of work.